day and uh, this is a vlog I kind of hoping I wouldn't have to do uh, because it's kind of a sad story and uh, you know you can't really control mother nature and uh, sometimes you don't know what mother nature is gonna throw your way and uh, well I'll just show you firsthand what's going on here as you can see uh, we're getting some structural issues happening here the wall is cracking and it's kind of leaning and uh, yeah, this stretch of the beach in Punta Cana is seeing some severe erosion. Uh, the roots on the trees are coming out. And right now we're kind of walking at low tide. So when the tide is high, the waves will come up and lash right against uh, these trees and the shoreline and eat away. And as you can see, we're starting to see uh, trees being cut down and we're seeing roots appearing from other trees and this is not good this section of beach has seen a lot of erosion since um, I started coming here and I'm talking 25 years 25 years ago there was a lot of beachfront here uh, especially at El Cortecito it was significant beachfront and now my it's all gone it's uh, the erosion mother nature has not been kind to this stretch of beach in Punta Cana here's another uh, look at the damage that has been inflicted by the beach erosion and uh, there's some danger because these trees uh, the root system is being compromised and they're kind of big trees so they could come down, uh, probably not imminent, but it's something uh, they have to watch out for. And here, as you can see, there's some uh, mitigation going on to try to uh, cope with the beach erosion. And you know what? Mother Nature is quite a force and it's not easy. Uh, I know if you uh, fight Mother Nature, chances are you're not going to win. So. Um, yeah, this resort is going to have some challenges uh, going forward. They may have to scale things back towards uh, away from the beach. So, uh, but yeah, look at the size of these trees and uh, look at the erosion. It's pretty significant. Okay, so we're gonna walk through El Cortecito to see uh, how the erosion has affected uh, this area. And right off the bat, right over here, there used to be a beautiful beach bar uh, with a roof and it's gone it's been washed away so bar 365 has been affected and what I'm going to do is we're just going to walk through El Cortecito here to see um, some of the impacts and as you can see right off the bat the, I know bear in mind this is not high tide this is actually not it's kind of low tide right now you can imagine when the tide is high that you, I don't know if you can even walk on the beach. Uh, the water would be that high. It would be quite significant. And I'm coming up upon uh, some pretty significant damage here. Oh my, yeah. Um, bear in mind, I was here last year and uh, it was not, it, it was, it was, you know, there was some beach erosion, but it wasn't this bad look at this my god you think a bomb had hit this complex but no this is all beach erosion and you can see foundation structural damage on foundations and basically things have been reduced to rubble um, wow El Cortecito and you know what you have to feel for these Dominican business owners they work hard they put their heart and soul into their businesses and um, wow the damage is significant now we're coming up onto Captain Cook's restaurant here and I want to uh, tell you a little something about uh, a little story about Captain Cook's now about 25 years ago we used to come here for dinner uh, some staff members of the Malia Resort uh, were very kind to us and took us out to dinner here. And I remember back in the day that 
we would be dining in this restaurant. And by the way, it, it was a fantastic restaurant. I'm sure it still is. And we would walk out here on the beach and we would probably walk to where that boat is over here, the, the blue boat uh, the, with the life jackets. And we'd pick our fish out and then the chef would prepare the fish for us. We had to walk that distance. It's almost like, I'd say half a football field. Look at this now. I think there's about 30 feet left. Uh, just incredible. So, um, yeah, if you come to El Cortecito, uh, you know, maybe do your best to support these local business owners and visit their shops and buy souvenirs and go to their restaurants because they're hurting right now and their livelihood is at stake. So uh, I'm not sure how much, you know, if the beach erosion will come to an end or if uh, it'll just keep progressing. It's hard to tell, but it's really, really been uh, hit, hitting this area hard. Now, I'm going to stop the video here, but before I do, I want to point out this restaurant right here, Anos. It's right on the beach in El Cortecito, and it is a beautiful beach bar and a beautiful restaurant. Great place to come have drinks. Now, it only opens later in the afternoon, but uh, they have fajita nights here. They have taco nights, and in the afternoon, look at this bar, beautiful view. So make a point of visiting this kind of a neat place. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. And I wish the uh, content was more merry and cheerful, but it is what it is. So we'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Thank you for watching. Oh, and don't forget to hit the uh, like and subscribe button. It really helps me. Take care.